He is known for being a prominent writer and literary critic in the 19th century. Recognized for his contribution to Russian literature, he co-edited the Sovremenik magazine with Alexander Pushkin. His name is Vladimir Odoyevsky. In the annals of literary history, one name stands out, Vladimir Odoyevsky, a legendary figure in Russian literature. Born into the princely house of Odoyev, he was the last member of this prestigious lineage and genealogically the most senior member of the house of Rurik. His upbringing was marked by contrasts, with his father being a state counselor and his mother hailed from a noble lineage. Despite the family's reservations about his mother's background, she was a well-educated young lady who spoke French and played the piano. Growing up, Odoyevsky's childhood took a tumultuous turn when his father passed away, leaving his mother to remarry and face financial struggles. He found solace in his grandfather's estate in the Kostroma Governorate, but after his grandfather's death, the estate fell into the hands of an acquaintance of his maternal grandmother. Odoyevsky and his mother then moved to the estate of Drakovo in the Ryazan Governorate, where he studied at a boarding school. It was during his time at the Nobility School of Moscow University that Odoyevsky's intellectual curiosity blossomed. In the mid-1820s, he became the head of the Lyabometry Society, a gathering of like-minded students who engaged in discussions about the ideas of German philosophers such as Friedrich Schelling. This period also introduced him to future Slavophiles and Zapadnik, although he refrained from aligning himself with any specific movement. Vladimir Odoyevsky, born into the princely house of Odoyev, was the last member of this prestigious family. His father, Prince Fyodor Sergeyevich Odoyevsky, held a prominent position as a state counselor. Although there were rumors that his mother was a serf, it was later discovered that she was the daughter of a praepershik. Despite their differences in social status, his parents' marriage was not approved by the Odoyevsky family. Tragedy struck at a young age when Vladimir's father passed away in 1808. His mother remarried twice, leaving him in the care of his grandfather, Colonel Prince Sergei Ivanovich Odoyevsky. However, upon his grandfather's death, the family estate in Kostroma Governorate fell into the hands of an acquaintance, Agrafina Glazova. Forced to live elsewhere, Vladimir and his mother resided in the estate of Drakovo in Ryazan Governorate. While studying at a boarding school, Vladimir's mother married an abusive husband named Pavel Sechenov. The resulting debts left him almost completely broke. Despite these hardships, Vladimir pursued his education at the Nobility School of Moscow University from 1816 to 1822. In the mid-1820s, Vladimir found himself at the forefront of intellectual discussions, presiding over the Lyabometry Society. It was during this time that he acquainted himself with future Slavophiles and Zapotnik, yet he chose not to align himself with either group. Instead, he focused on his literary pursuits, becoming a prominent critic and journalist. In 1824, Vladimir and Wilhelm Kuchelbecker founded the Moscow literary magazine Nemesina, which unfortunately ceased publication shortly after. In 1826, he relocated to St. Petersburg, joining the staff of the Imperial Public Library. Later, he would co-edit the Sovremenik with Alexander Pushkin in the mid-1830s. Vladimir Odoyevsky's contributions to the literary world continued throughout his life. He served as the head of the Rumiantsev Museum and remained active as a senator until his death. Today, he rests in peace at the Donskoy Monastery Necropolis, leaving behind a legacy of literary excellence. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.